Alright, g'day guys. We are in a Zone RV. It's a 2017 model. Uh, this van came to us for an inspection initially after the owners had spent some time in this. These are, these are the second owners of this particular van. Uh, so they'd spent some time free camping and worked out that they had uh, a couple of issues with uh, recharging through solar. So what they did is they actually took it to a different installer who um, modified the system. But this system used to be a, an Enerdrive uh, white box battery system. So um, basically lithium cells with an external BMS that uh, ties together with a couple of different components. One of the things that the other, man, uh, the other installer had done is modify the system, which took some of the safeties away from the uh, white box battery shutdown system. So it's the Enerdrive Pro Series batteries that I'm talking about. Uh, so there's very important aspects of those particular systems where there are some safeties that tie together um, each component of that system is part of the BMS and it shuts down the system if there's a fault with the battery or the battery state of charge gets too low or there's an over voltage alarm or something like that. So it's essentially just an external BMS battery. So that was modified, which is not ideal because that means that the system isn't um, going to shut you down safely if something goes wrong. So the owner had enough uh, understanding of what was going on that they realized that what the modification had been wasn't correct and the guy didn't necessarily know what he was doing so they've then contacted us uh, we have got them down for an inspection uh, we've quickly worked out that there were a few issues I set the system back up and recalibrated and uh, essentially recommissioned it to Enerdrive's um, commissioning procedure to make sure that all the shutdowns and trips were working safely again so the battery system was safe but whilst we were doing that inspection we noticed that uh, there had been some damage done to the cells themselves they were swollen so that meant that um, they needed to be replaced so Instead of uh, just replacing the cells, uh, we needed to also have a look at what was going on with the solar panels. So this van had the uh, semi-flexible stick-down uh, panels on the roof. They had maybe about 600 watts of those plus one or two uh, fixed um, glass panels. It was all getting a little bit on, um, on the older side of things. So um, we collectively decided that what we would do to this van is modify it and bring it up to uh, today's standards, first of all. Uh, give them a bigger battery so that they had more capacity and upgrade the solar to get maximum amount of solar they could get on their roof. So these zones are a little bit tricky from the perspective of mounting solar panels on just because of the roof layout and the amount of hatches and various other bits and pieces they've got on the roof. So. We've taken the TV antenna off. We took the old Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, Wi, uh, sorry, Cellfi Go antenna, sorry, Cellfi Go antenna uh, off. So we've taken those things off, which has given us a little bit more real estate to mount panels. Uh, but what we've ended up with up there is 1150 watts. We've also ended up with a 620 amp hour slim battery, which fit in place of the 400 amp hour Pro Series batteries, so quite a compact system. Uh, so what we've done is we've modified everything underneath the seat here. We've actually retained some of the equipment that was installed with the Pro Series battery system. So some of the bus bars, uh, the DC-DC charger. We've also kept the EPRO Combi because they're a great inverter charger. They're a really nice 3000 watt inverter charger. Uh, they have a um, pretty substantial overload capacity as well. But we moved quite a lot of the other gear. So we've obviously, you can see down here, we've ended up with three Victron MPPTs. We've ended up with a Cymarine Pico system as well. So that's doing some of the um, solar monitoring and load monitoring and DC-DC charger monitoring. We also then moved the isolation and battery monitoring over closer to the battery instead of needing to, um, the system was set up so that the 
uh, cabling went from the batteries, which are over here, all the way across to over here and back again. We've kind of condensed all of that up so to keep the cabling as short as possible down here, which, you know, means that we get less volt drop across the system. Obviously it neatens everything up, uh, gives them access to their battery isolator nice and easily. So yeah, we, we tidied this whole system up. Uh, you know, these zones are, these zones are pretty well fitted out from the get go with the Enerdrive system that was in it. But as I say, we've just improved that, brought it up to, brought it up to the latest standards. So all the solar isolation, um, battery monitoring, battery isolation, everything like that is now as um, the standard requires. We also then gave them the Cymarine Pico screen in the overhead cupboard. As you can see, we've retained the um, uh, Enerdrive EPRO Combi um, inverter charger controller here and added the Pico next to it. So they've got the ability to monitor their solar, uh, how much load's coming in and out, and various other bits and pieces there through portable panels. And then if they really want to drill down on how much solar is coming down from the roof through each string, they can actually get onto the Victron Connect app and connect up to their uh, solar regulators down underneath the cupboard down here. So, yeah, this, is, this has been a really nice upgrade for this van. Improving the amount of solar and battery capacity in this van has meant that these guys now are going to be able to go off grid for extended periods of time and not be uh, worrying about how much energy they've got to, to use. If they do want to plug in a portable panel because the sun's um, misbehaving with clouds or they're in shade or whatever, they can do that. The DC DC charger does that as it was from factory. Uh, what we've done with this one as well actually is uh, these guys have a Truma hot water system which is a combination gas and electric. That was wired up to be mains only on 240, but we've changed that so they can actually run this off, uh, run that hot water system off the inverter if they choose to, so they can do that. Uh, so that's also been a nice little change for them. So yeah, this is, this is one of these systems that, one of these situations that uh, customer has a van that they're very happy with have a few problems electrically, you know, the system might be getting a little bit old or they might not be getting as much charge as they potentially could be. So we go about doing a nice upgrade for them, which brings the whole van up to uh, the latest standards. Everything else in the van is perfect. You know, these zones are really well fitted out from factory. So yeah, it's perfect for them. These guys are gonna um, come and pick their van up today. We're looking, really looking forward to handing it over to them and seeing where they take it. Mm -hmm.